Tornadoes are nature's most violent storms. Spawned from powerful thunderstorms, tornadoes can flatten a neighborhood in minutes. If a tornado warning were issued, what would you do? Where would you go? The time to prepare is now. Put together a family emergency plan. Discuss with your family how to get to a safe place, how to communicate with one another, and where to meet up after the event is over. Identify an out-of-state family member or friend to act as the family contact. Free resources are available from ready.gov. Put together a basic emergency supply kit. It should include a three-day supply of non-perishable foods and water, one gallon per person per day, a first aid kit, portable radio, flashlights and batteries, medications and other essential items. You might also include cash, a helmet, IDs, and a spare set of keys. Find out where local shelters are and the fastest way to get there. Purchase a NOAA weather radio. It will broadcast tornado watches and warnings. You can also receive wireless emergency alerts on your cell phone. Make sure your wireless notification setting is turned on. Practice periodic drills so that you and your family members know what to do if a tornado warning is issued. If your area is under a tornado warning, act now. You may only have a few minutes to get to safety. Seek shelter immediately. Go to a safe room, basement, storm cellar, or the lowest level in a sturdy building. If there is no basement, go to the center of the building and away from windows and doors. Put as many walls as possible between you and the outside. Get under a sturdy object like a table and cover yourself with pillows and blankets. Use your arms to protect your head and neck. A helmet can offer some protection too. If you are in a car, drive to a shelter immediately. If there isn't enough time and you are caught by extreme winds or flying debris, park the car as quickly and safely as possible out of the traffic lanes. Stay in the car with the seat belt on. Put your head down below the windows. Cover your head with your hands and a blanket, coat or other cushion if possible. Do not park under an overpass or bridge, and never try to outrun a tornado in an urban or congested area. If you are outside, find the lowest point on the ground and lie face down. Use your arms to protect your head and neck. And most importantly, watch out for flying debris. It causes most fatalities and injuries. After the tornado has passed, continue to monitor your battery-powered radio or mobile device for emergency information and cooperate fully with public safety officials. Keep your family together and wait for emergency personnel to arrive. If you are trapped, try to attract attention to your location. Use a whistle or flashlight. Cell phone towers may be down, so send text messages rather than make phone calls. Check for injuries. Do not attempt to move seriously injured people unless they are in immediate danger of further injury. Do not remove helmets from injured people. If someone has stopped breathing, begin CPR. Stop a bleeding injury by applying direct pressure to the wound. Be aware of possible structural, electrical, or gas leak hazards in your home. Stay away from power lines and puddles with wires in them. They may still be carrying electricity. Watch out for nails, broken glass, and other sharp objects. Nearly half of all tornado injuries occur post-storm, so use extreme caution to avoid further injuries from debris and damaged buildings. Tornadoes can cause millions of dollars in damages. Make your emergency plans ahead of time and take the necessary precautions to stay safe during and after a twister. Safety is job number one. Get weather ready.